Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we were working hard on getting this copper mining station up and functional. So what I'm thinking of, and I completely forgot to do this, <clears throat> is uh, is we need to actually connect the mine with here instead of having these input stations connected here. So what I'm going to do is we are not going to need these corners, uh, not yet anyway. So we can just overwrite them with regular, um, whatchamacallum thingies, uh, belts. And we will get these moved on instead. Okay, let's get these guys up this way. And of course we will get, we need a left hand corner. Do we have one of those somewhere? Turning left. Yes, right there. This one right here. Okay, nanobots, thank you for doing your job. You're doing an amazing job. There we go. All right, so the function of this balancer is just in case there are trains unloading unevenly, like if too many are going to one station versus another one, then this will balance it off. Um, though I don't know if it's actually that needed because this only takes one... I mean, it takes all the stuff in all the time. No, no, I don't think that's needed at all. I think that's... I think it's fine. Well... No, we'll leave it because it might be useful to have all lanes filled uh, in a way. All right, that'll, that'll, it'll work. It'll be fine either way. I'm not really quite sure how that's going to work, but we'll see. Now then, let's get rid of this and grab ourselves some tasty eight lane moving here. Ooh, and then figure out how we're going to divide up this stuff. All right, so... We need, oh, wow, we're still putting down miners? Really? Oh, I'm glad I've got some at the uh, company store there. 48 miners here on a single line. I think what I'll do is like, I'll combine the first three. Is that uneven? Eh, a little bit. These guys are very uneven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put them into a splitter and then make them go out one lane like this and add them to that first line like that. And I think that should be enough. Let's uh, just get our blueprint thingy jingy out here and see if that's around 52 it's around 86 so yeah it's gonna work the next line here is 44 i think the next ones should get their own lines okay come on nanobots keep working it work it come on there we go Nice. Okay, stone walls are finished. Let our nanobots do stuff. Oh, it actually pauses. Oh, I don't want it to pause. I guess I have to set up the game as a server if I wanted to do that. Okay, next. Oh, actually, we don't need this. Take that out. And how many do we have left? We have quite a few lanes left, I think. Wow. I'm wondering if I should just combine two of them to each. I think we're going to do that. I think that's what's going to have to happen here. And then these guys are going to get... Because we have so many lanes to happen. Um, these two for sure. Okay, and I want to balance this one for sure, too. Nope. Come on, thing. Oh. 
Is that a fish swimming in here? In this tiny pond? Oh dear. I worry for him. I hope he's going to get enough food. Alright. Enough worrying about fish. Artificial fish. Oh, which, speaking of, there's a really cool aquarium game coming out very shortly, and I shall be very excited to play it for you. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five games, or five games, haha, <laughs> five lanes left. Um, let's combine these two. Again, these are just really... Okay, and then this one can be combined with its neighbor as well. Okay, now then. We're running out of red and green signs. <laughs> We're running out of all the things, but we should keep the factory happy, keep it producing stuff. Okay. The rest, I think these, we have just a few lanes left. That's fine. Okay, here we go. I mean, what we could do is, which probably would be better, is go one, two, three, four, five, five to four, instead of just combining those that way. But I think think we're going to be okay. I don't really see the need for that. I think we're going to be having plenty of production as we are. Um, okay, so let's do the railroad thing. Let's connect the tracks up. Okay, come on. I should have just said railroad tracks only. That was really silly of me. Oh, trees. Go away. Okay. Okay, that's the out, the out lane. Now then, we need to build the rest of this train station before we define a parking lot for how this is going to be and how we want it to come off, or maybe we'll go diagonal. I'm not quite sure yet. It might be diagonal, actually, now that I'm looking at it. But let us make some loading stations. Um, I don't see any. I can probably get rid of this blueprint. Okay, now then. I think, where do we have loading? We have loading here. Hello, loading stuff. Ah, and we have underground belts here too, which is very nice. I think we're going to just copy this thing wholesale. Call that excellent good. Nice. Let's go like this. Let's just edit this slightly. Um, I think we'll just have two loading stations, so we'll get rid of these things. And then maybe even these undergrounds. Okay, and the light is fine, go away. That's gotta go, this one can go. There we go. And I think we can get rid of this guy right there. Okay. That looks pretty pretty darn good. Except these loading stations are on the wrong side. <laughs> are they on the wrong side? I think they are. You know what? It doesn't really matter which side they're on. I I I think, actually, we might even want to put them here. Yes, we do. We definitely want to put them here. Oh, come on thing. Okay, we want to align this. Those are the first two belts here. Okay, this is going to be somewhat odd. These belts are on one side, the other one's on the other side. I just don't want to redo the whole thing. It's very painful to do so, so yeah. No, not today. This does not match up. Of course not. It's okay, though. Only one side was ever going to line up. 
And this has got the right kind of space for it. Okay, very nice. Now then, I think... Oh, do we want to go along this endless chain of stuff? I don't think so. I think we're going to skip doing research for now. Oh, we have no belts. Oh, no. All right, it's okay, though. We'll put down the other stuff that we do have. That's unusual being short on red belts. Okay, let's see if we have any in the train. Otherwise, we'll have to go for some. Oh, I probably should take these nanobots, though. We're almost ready. I can feel we're on the cusp of opening this station. All right, so it looks like we just need belts, I think. Um, seems about right. Let me grab our blueprint for corners. We need a left corner and a right corner. Okay, so let's just remove this whole thing. Put that there. And then get the other corner. Uh, we need the right corner. Whoopsies. One, two. Oh, no, 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 no. Brain, work better. One, two, three, and four. Good. And we'll shove that there. And then in the meantime, we'll just put these guys also here. Okay, cool. Looking very nice. Now, let's see what else we need for the station. If there's anything, we need boxes. And looks like just boxes and belts. All right. Let's get our fast running shoes on. Go to the left. Do we need any nanobots? No, it seems like we're okay on those. Okay, here we go. Boxes and belts. I think we can go here. Get that many. I really dislike that it takes like half of this of each stack. That's to me such a strange thing. I kind of wish it would just take half the stacks instead of having this um, sort of placeholder thing. It's kind of odd. Uh, do we need these guys? No. Well, I'll take one stack. Ah, miners, yes. Miners we do need. Oh, yes, and I completely forgot about those um, connecting the coal. Thank goodness we remembered. I think I'll take a half a stack of those. And lights, yes, please. Boxes. Oh, they're there. Boxes inside of boxes. How nice. All right. Oops. run down again this is so convenient <laughs> this really is convenient but keep in mind if you're interested in achievements um using any of these console commands does disable achievements so um just be careful of that but i've played so long i played 600 hours before i installed my very first mod in this game so i feel like I've paid my dues. I've 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 done the game with without any kind of no console commands, no mods for over 600 hours of playtime. So, yeah, I know what it's like. I've experienced it before. It's all good. Um right. So, this is good. Are we what are we checking here? We're checking for blue squares. Blue squares are checking for anything greater than 4K. Okay. I think we're good. Uh the only thing we need is we do need a power pole connecting this area to that. We also need the fueling system, which we must install, which this are too close now. Um, uh huh. Not very consistent. It's okay if it's not consistent. I'm not going to be bothered about it. I really am not going to be annoyed or anything like that. I think we're uh, out of luck here. This is not great here. We need to add these guys here. Come on. There we go. Right. Okay. Take that guy off. 
what we're going to do is we're going to leave this underground here because undergrounds, or at least they used to, they, they act like chests. So this thing can grab an entire, I hope this is still the case. If it's not, we'll look, we'll see it. But anyway, it used to be that you could grab an entire stack from an underground without like the inserter arm having to pick up item after item after item. But we're going to test and see if this still works. I don't know if it will. Oh, hello. We missed a couple of belts. Now then, uh, all of these guys still have their limits. Good. Now we do need to have this thing crossing here. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I am not under. <laughs> I'm out of undergrounds again. This is embarrassing. No. Oh, okay. Forget you saw that. I, I didn't run out of... Did I pick some up? I can't even remember if I picked them up or not. I hope I did. Did I just skip across the water? Maybe I just walked so close that it looked like it. All right, I'm going to do this. We're going to raise the limits on these guys. Uh, that's fine there. I think... Yeah, just a little bit more. Actually, you know what? We'll take the whole lot. And... I need the iron chests as well. Uh, we're going to take the whole lot and then dump some in the train. Speaking of, I should have done that with nanobots too. Uh, okay. I want to put these guys there. Okay. Yep, I think we're good. Now then. Uh, yep, back to um, what we were doing. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Don't worry. It's fine. All right. We want to grab this coal. And we really do not need a lot of coal for these things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put down four miners. And that's going to be more than enough coal. Uh, but it's also going to be enough coal that I never have to worry about being here. I'm even going to give the maximum available... Um, a mining area. Yeah. In fact, that's a good idea. I Somebody asked me about that. In fact, a couple people have asked me about this. They said to me, isn't it inefficient to put them so close together? Um, and I did answer the comments, but I would like to say this on the video as well, that yes, these guys cover a five by five area. You can see the overlap on the sides there. However, if you want lots of throughput, meaning lots of ore being produced per second, you want to have them as close as possible. And that's what we've done over here. Uh, wow, I, I'm still like, how are we missing stuff here? Okay, uh, we must have run out of nanobots or something. Anyway, um, with these guys, I want this ore to be produced as fast as possible. Of course, you know, we may not be using all the ore. I don't know what it's going to be like. We'll have to see. Uh, and then these, these gaps are unintentional, but what, what happens in an ore field that's this big is the end ones start dying off because there's less, like this has 3.6 K, whereas a middle one has 160 K. So they're going to die off. So I want to have a mass amount of miners producing at the same time. Okay. So now we have all of the things connected. We've got this massive factory going. Man, I so wish I could start making modules, but we don't have red circuits yet. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good. I think what we can do is we want to have... Maybe we want to do a diagonal parking lot. Or no. Uh, no, no, no. We definitely don't want to do that. Because if we have diagonal, then we can have this one going and it's going to be diagonal up this way. And then this one will have to connect all the way up here. So that's not efficient. What we'll do instead is do this. We'll have, oh, don't do the, no, 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 don't do that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I have a new phrase that I'm using with my cats. So my little Araminta <laughs> is uh, still a kitten ish. Um, and, uh, she's still learning about our culture, i.e. do not jump on the kitchen counter. This is not a place for cats to be. Um, so, you know, the, the latest phrase I use with her is that she's not authorized to be there. 
And if you say it in the right tone of voice, they definitely understand what you, Araminta, you are not authorized to be there. And she looks at me and meows at me, like complains about this. Uh, but eventually she jumps down. <laughs> oh, cats are so funny. Okay, so how do we want to do this? We could do this kind of a thing. Um, place this guy down. Remember, you want to have the uh, chain signals at the head of the trains. This actually looks pretty good if we do this this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's looking very nice. I think that will work. It also gives us plenty of space to... Oh, we don't even need to have an intersection over here at all. Okay, this is good. Nanobots, proceed. Let's go. Come on. Oh. They're like, KOS, you didn't give us any track to put down. You know, you can't ask us to perform when we don't have materials that we need. Now, should I... I think I'll just do a curve here. I'll just do this. And then go like that. Should be enough. I'm going to get rid of all this. And then take as many as we can with blueprint. Otherwise, mine them. Oops. There we go. Nice. Now we're going to have more wood for wooden chests. Hooray. I should probably use more wooden chests, actually. Because you always get so much wood. And then I, I know that often I've had like, oh my god, I'm out of iron chests. No, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, it's not great. Okay, I think we're good with this entire situation. Um, it's looking really nice. Except for the fact that we have no lights. But we don't have lights because we don't have lights. Meaning that uh, I did pick some up, but uh, we use them all. Okay. Um, now, oh, we, we even have a pull-through driveway. I told you that thing was uh, temporary. It was not going to stay. No, no. Um, I guess we can get it going. Let's go. Start it in the dead of night. Okay, this is inconvenient. Fine, fine. All right, looks like we still have issues with some power poles going on here. Or not going on, as the case may be. Um, yeah, okay, so this is where this gap is. And it looks like we missed these guys. These guys, of course, need power. Anything else, Blinky Blinky? Oh, there's some up here. I don't have lights up here either. All right, looking good. Oh, look at these full lanes of iron. They are so tasty. <sighs> okay, so this one has a little bit of gaps there. Maybe it'll get better. We'll see. Right, looking good. Very, very nice. Oh, and there's the coal starting up. Look at this. Okay, it's going into the boxes. Ooh, we missed a uh, power pole over there. Good to see. Yeah, we can't really actually test this right now, can we? Because we, um, it's producing so little. <laughs> and they're not coming in at the same time. Hmm. It looks like it's just kind of like, I don't know if it's gripping or not. It's hard to tell. You know, we can try this. Let it build up a little bit. Yeah, I think it, it grabbed it all at once. All right, um, now this has no power. Why? Why do you have no power? You should have power. Hello? Oh, it's not this. Can't be that. We, um, neglected to connect it to the electricity. That helps usually, I hear. Okay, here we go. 
And it's, oh, hello, iron plate. <laughs> copper plates. You're not iron. You're copper. Oh, how nice. Look at how nice. Little orderly lines of copper leaping out of the furnace. So excited and happy to be ready on their way to go somewhere to the universe. Isn't that nice? That's funky. It's like doing these little groups of four. It's kind of mesmerizing to watch, though, I have to say. It's pretty entertaining. Um, but I promise we won't spend the rest of the episode watching this thing. But it's interesting the way this works. So it needs 50 copper ore per making 50 copper plates. I'm hoping that we'll get some modules installed here shortly, as well as the things I completely forgot about, which are beacons. Uh, we might have an issue with this. I may have to move this upward or something. All right, I completely forgot about that. No worries. Took oh, look at the designs here. This is so cool. They straighten up here. Oh, that's fun. That is so fun. It's like <laughs> it's like a candy cane with these diagonal stripes going up. That is so cool. I love it. Pretty darn cool. What a nice thing. Okay. Well, anyway, that's how that works. Okay, so copper, it does actually have fuel, which is quite nice. Uh, iron doesn't have fuel and green circuits doesn't have any fuel. At least one of those needs to have. I'm thinking iron. I definitely want iron to have that so that all of their, you know, having it uh, fueling at the originating station would be nice. I do want to put a radar down here somewhere. Like maybe there's okay. All right. And this can keep on exploring down south here. I guess we'll make preparations to do the coal station. So the next thing we're going to do probably is start on this coal station. I wonder if I should just, instead of all this crazy business, make a line that goes around just to, so I can have some kind of something. Let's do that real quick. Well, real quick-ish. <laughs> all right, building train, let's go. Okay, we have stuff. Good, good, good. Very nice. We appear to have some problem here. What is the problem? Ah, there would be no train track there. That is a problem. There we go. Good to test things out. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just see something? No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. It's all good. Okay. Moving right along. Let's go back up to our main line. Hear the slight whir and the hum of the engine as we go along. And the car wheels as they're passing over the gaps in the tracks. Okay, and here is where we grab some track, grab some speed as well, and just make a rough... <sighs> hmm. I don't want to plan out the entire thing, but I think I might have to actually. If I go with a parking lot, let's look at our blueprints for parking. Um, something like this will definitely be desired. Okay, we need to flip it around. Okay, so if we do this, oopsies for a couple of stations and then we might have another and another. So if I get, oh man, I, don't, I literally don't have enough space. Ay, that's annoying. Okay, let me put these guys in here. I hate not having the ability to change things like that. Oh, and I have a second one of this. Um, all right, so I think if we have like three parking lots like this, this will be one, two, one, two, three, and then this one will be there. Okay, let's try that. 
Um, and I'm going to delete this because obviously this is going to have to be the highest level, not the lowest. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. No, no. KOS, you're not authorized. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Now this guy is going to go around this way. We'll leave room for signals. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's go and fill all this in with nanobots. Come on, my little botty friends. Okay. This is may just be just for the building train. Hopefully not totally just for the building train. Come on. Areas like this desert, I think that maybe I should just fill it in like this. Oh. Hello, Smelter. Greetings. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to impinge on your freedom over here. <laughs> it's like, whoops. Okay. Now here I'm thinking, do we want a T-junction or we just want a lead-in? I think just maybe even a, um, no, no, we didn't need some kind of like, maybe a rails in instead. Okay, let's just do that. Rails in. Okay, cool. And then here, we're going to take this out and... Did I delete it? <clears throat> I think I deleted it. That's uh, extremely inconvenient. All right, let's find our rail straight. There we go. Okay, and then I want to put that rail blueprint in the book. There we go. Okay, looking pretty good. Not too bad, in fact. And then this silliness can go away entirely. And now we can at least get our building train back where it goes. And this also needs to be going, 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 gone. Bots, thank you. Okay, great. Okay, and I think this is probably a good spot to end the episode. We have this nice big circle where we can just drive our train around there. We finished the copper. Whoa, we need a... Apparently we do need a radar there, and I kind of miss that. But in the next episode, I would like to start connecting things. We need to make the coal mine so that we can get fuel for these trains that are going from the iron station to green circuits. And... Um, we need to make a train from the copper station to green circuits. And then we need uh, places to <laughs> send the green circuits to, which may be here. We may just rip out all of our current green circuit making here and just have a line from the train station instead. So that's the plans of what is coming up. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.